Hey folks, I'm Bixante, we are going to play a bit more on Talon Pies by Shannon Pixel Studios and in our last episode we had some diplomatic issues with our neighbors, especially with our vassals and we were about to attack the zoo, which we are going to do quite uh, soon I think in a few turns just take a quick look I think, yes, uh, just three turns and we'll be uh, fighting the zoo again so I need to be careful not to be, uh, let's say, understaffed in the military aspect and I need to be careful because I've got uh, my uh, friends, kind of, the queen here, which we might want to be careful of, because they, they, they really want the town of Char, which I really want to keep, because there is plenty of gold mines, as a matter of fact I've got one which is uh, finished r just right now, it's going to help us a bit with uh, the money, and we'll see, I hope we're not going to be at war, but if we were, I think we might be uh, a little bit tougher than they are, uh, they are a bit weaker, so we should be fine, still they are hostile, so let's be careful. Anyway, let's take a look. Uh, I don't think there is more of the town which is uh, down south. So I've got s uh, four uh, cities which are belonging to the Queen. So we'll need to be very, very careful. And we are going to begin to fight uh, the zoo. I would definitely like to retrieve the city of Quan here, which would be quite cool. And I don't really want to go much further. So we are going to try to push a bit further here, attack this town, uh, take it, and then we'll try to go for a peace with the zoo and hopefully it will be lasting long enough. If uh, I've got the opportunity, maybe we'll just try to obliterate the queen because they are, you know, they are just annoying me a bit with all their war and stuff. Without them, I would probably be at peace for now. So let's just uh, see what's going to happen. I need to check on my two towns here, which are a bit high. I think I should just be very, very careful because and let's see, uh, we've got an earthquake which I cannot really do anything against. We've got a bit too much labor which is happening, so I might want to check on that. And do I have anything else I could actually take a look at? Uh, are we good with the food? The food seems to be alright, so it's definitely the labor which is ga giving us a bit of a hard time. So let's just. We are not producing you know, no farms. Uh, there is uh, no buildings which are being built. Okay, we should be fine ish. Let's just take a look at these. These are a bit high as well. Uh, we've got the earthquake again, so I believe without the earthquake, it would, we should be fine. It's going to uh, turn uh, to last three other turns, so it's quite dangerous for me, especially in Seika. Uh, maybe if I was to increase a bit the amount of troops I've got there, I might be able to handle that. Plus, it would uh, maybe uh, suppress a bit more. I've got ten and depression here. The prison is helping. Okay, we're going to try to recruit a few more troops if we can. Okay, it's a bit too early. I don't really want to recruit a uh, militia like this. I could recruit a bunch of Shukonu though, because this might be useful. They've got repeating crossbows and it's going to help quite a bit against our enemies. Yet, I will try to go with what we've got for now. I might want to send a bunch of troops from Zero though. Let's take a look. Um, I've got a bit of cavalry over there, so I could maybe take uh, two of these units and send them to Seika. It's going to take them a little bit than a turn to get in, but it might be sufficient. I think the zoo are at war with uh, with the queen, so they are not going to be able to come quickly to us. I'm going to send one more unit here. And army is over there. I think I was uh, trying to move uh, my army around and there should be somewhere yes they are in Seika already so we've got uh, siege weapons and uh, heavy spearmen where was right, right. um, I'm going to send this one over there to to meet with a regular army and I will try to maybe uh, produce more troops from here I cannot okay let's see do I have any town around here which is going to be possible to uh, use as a Troop production location, not so much, but maybe I should try to check in Chengdu. We might be able to make a bunch more of these uh, horsemen here and send them to the front line. Yeah, it might be uh, possible. Let's just exit here. All right, and I just pick up these and send. Them. Oh wait a sec! I could also go with. Um, do I have any kind of bowmen's? Not so much. These are not too bad, I could just send uh, one unit of cavalry and one unit of bowmen. We are going to do that. 
Meanwhile, I've got no war which is going to be fought uh, to the south, so I should be fine for now. Uh, the east is alright, only the north is in danger. Okay, let's just take a look at Chia as well because we've got a bit of money and maybe I could just begin to build another mine. Yes, there is one over there. Uh, but, so we've got a bit of time for this one. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, it's quite expensive. Yet it's going to generate a lot of money. If you compare to uh, what other buildings tend to generate, it's not too bad. Um, do I want to go for it? It's quite a bit of money though. And maybe I will need it for the war. Okay, we'll just wait a bit more. Plus I've got still 32 turns to get this one done, so <laughs> it's going to take a while. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's go back to regular farms. Do I have a... Maybe I should just do a bunch of farms. I've got... Uh, 12 turns. I'm going to go for... This one is going to be a bit more easy. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to build anything in Zeka. It would be, it would be madness. Uh, Yi Chang on the contrary could be able to... No, these are too difficult to make. It's going to take a lot of turns. Let's uh, take a look at Chengdu. Chengdu is all fine. I could just build a bunch more farms. But maybe I should just try to expand our frontier. Would be more useful. Just a push on our on our limits here so we can just keep going. No, I'm not going to ask for more. Four turns in advance is not too bad. Uh, in Z there is too much unrest. Uh, Zitong is... Uh, we're going to do one of these. In four turns we should be f back to normal. In three turns we're going to lose 20% so should be fine. Pingdu is... Kind of alright. I don't really want to push much further. Lanzong is kind of the same. Yeah, nope. Uh, Jiameng. Why well, not going to push too much? I think I should have enough food for now. And Wuyang. Uh, there is no space. Okay, no spaces. Uh, okay, Zhou. We might have some uh, spot we could actually push forward. I might want to push a bit north. So we can maybe reach the, the land of. The can we just cross here? I'm not sure. Because I don't really know where we're going to to go to, um, to cross this, this location. Because there might be an access here, but I don't really know if I need to go uh, east or west or just go through the mountain. But this city looks quite cool. I would definitely like to make... Maybe it could be a trading um, location or it could be also maybe a military uh, stronghold or something like that. It seems to be very difficult to access. I like it. Okay, and I was... Oh, wait a sec, I think I, I understand something. I know why there is so much labor. Because we are producing a road. Is it finished? Yes, it is. I think it is, at least. We're not walking anymore on this, so... Yes, the labor should just decrease slowly. So we should be fine if there is no other catastrophe here. Across the maker. What kind of unit can I do? Only the Shukanu? It's a bit disappointing. Okay, we'll need to expand on that. I'm not producing units which are just uh, good enough. Alright, let's go. So we've got a bit of a war in Yishui. As a matter of fact, I would definitely like them to fight a bit over there so it could decrease the strength of my vessels. Because the weaker they are, the less chance they are that they are going to uh, betray us. They are going to win nonetheless. Let's just take a quick look at the battle here. We've got quite a bit of troop nonetheless. There is... Oh, less and less though, because there is a big battle over there which is taking place. And what do... Oh, they've got uh, flaming arrows. It seems to be getting better. Got a bit of light archer here. So they are uh, deploying units which are a bit better, but still not really that good. Uh, bandit light spearmen, so the zoo are not really using good units either. Let's just take a look at the um, battle which was on that side. What kind of unit do we have here? Uh, light spearmen, bodyguards, so their leader is probably here, but this is in trouble. Oh, there was a battle here, and they lost quite a bit of units. Do we have more uh, battles happening around? Okay, it was kind of a big defeat for the zoo here. They're not going to be able to do that for long. Let's just speed up a bit, there is nothing else which is going to happen here. They still got 200 
troops, but it's not going to be enough to uh, take this, cap this capital here. Okay, so bandits, where to? Where, where do we have bandits? Is it around us? Uh, I need to, oh, there is a bunch between Zitong and, and Z. I uh, will need to take care of these. Uh, but is there more? Not really. Okay, so we'll just try to send. I've got probably a bit of... No, there is no cavalry over there. Maybe I could just do a bunch in... in not in Zitong because it is... Uh, okay, let's take a look. I think I can do good units here. I'm going to do uh, two units of um, heavy spearmen, if I can. It's going to cost me a bit, but I will send them to take care of the bandits and then they will reach Seika and prepare for battle. And uh, let's see. Do I want to go for two or three? Okay, let's go for three. I could go for more, but it's going to cost me too much. Maybe. Do I want to go for four? It would be an undefeatable army. Okay, let's go for four. It's quite expensive, but hopefully in the end it will be worth it. Okay, so these units, uh, all of these units, are going to go after these bandits. And then they will go to Seika, and I will try to advance towards the city of Quan here. Oh, Shen, I don't really know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm trying my best, but I, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, let's just uh, see what we can do. We've got plenty of things which are happening. We've got reminders that we need to attack the zoo before. Are we not at war with the zoo already? I think we are already at war because it declared war on us. Uh, then I've got uh, a leader which is getting better with uh, management of the city, which is good. Is, uh, is, it, is it Kui or is it Len? Now he's getting better at Battle Strange, I think. Uh, garrison by 20. Let's take a look. Now he's getting better at battles, that's all. The bandits are over there. I've got fire in a uh, town which are not ours. Got two new farms and a road. There's a road in Cha. Ah, yes, we were trying to reach the other cities. Can I actually push a bit further? We've got uh, probably. Uh, let's see, where is the road? Just over there, it's going through. It's going to go uh, over the river, then it will keep going to all these areas. And at that point, I, sh I should probably just go for another city and try to reach uh, that spot. Let's take a look. Let's say if I was to do uh, London as... Yes, it seems to be fine. We're going to uh, try to uh, make a road which is going to go in which direction here. Is there any road which is uh, living the Lanzong? Not so much. There is one over there. There is one on this direction here. So what I should probably do is to go with one over there and go on the left and over there and then we'll go here and there and we'll cut the forest here. Alright, just over there. And we'll reach the road uh, on the other side. Seems good. I'm going to make a bit of unrest because of the walk but we'll be able to reach the city of Cha a lot faster, which seems to be a necessity because we are going to be such in trouble. Uh, so meanwhile, let's take a look. I've got maybe another mine to uh, do. Let's build it up before I get uh, involved. I've got a lot of other mines I need to do, but I think I will need to take Sharingal to do it. This era is going to be a real uh, opportunity for me if I manage to uh, to get it completely because there is so much gold mine here which could help us just power our economy a bit further. It would be very, very nice to be able to size these all. Anyway, let's just take a look at what we can do. Um, do I need to declare war on the zoo? Because I think I've done that already. At war. I'm just going to check, just in case. No, no, no it's alright. Ah. Let's see. Nah, I'm always just taking a peek here. Oh, it's sake, yeah. It's, yeah, it's decreasing, so it's good. We're going to be fine, finally. And all the other towns are alright. I would definitely hate to lose the, the capital. It would be uh, a shame. Especially to unrest. I need to be more careful because... Uh, I didn't have the, um, the margin to actually uh, handle the, the earthquake and it is a bad uh, planning thing. Oh, look at that, they've got plenty of units. Bad units, but still, plenty of units. We need a bit more uh, bombers. Because they've got quite a bit and I would not like to be surprised by these. 
There's uh, so many bowmen. Still have good cavalry, so they are going to be uh, able to um, uh, let they prevent enemy from attacking their town. But they're not going to be able to attack so much because in plains cavalry is going to just slaughter their bowmen. Uh, anyway, can I, what can I do here? I've got probably a bunch of research to take a look at. I've got my oh my horse armor, which are coming in nine turns. It's going to be very very uh, efficient for us to make a huge difference. I've got Kung Fu which is arriving in 7 turns, Giant Crossbow in 7 turns as well, and Literature in 6 turns. I should just uh, recover maybe a bit of authority or something. Cool. Okay, let's see what I can do here. I don't think I can do much. I need to wait for my army to gather in Seika. Uh, I need to uh, wait for my army to actually attack the bandits. Are they doing that? Yes they are. And that's or like I could just spend a bit of money in my different towns because maybe I can make more money than what I do right now. Let's see. So let's take a look. I should have a few towns which are lacking uh, basic facilities to make more money. So I could maybe do the ceramic factory here. It's not too expensive. It could help quite a bit. Chengdu is a big city, and making more money is not uh, something we should just be uh, worried about here. Five turns. It's going to cost a bit, but it's going to bring me more. So all good. Uh, the siege granary would be useful, but it is not an emergency, so we are not going to do it. Uh, big walls. <laughs> it could be useful. Yet it's costing quite a bit, and I don't really want to spend that much. So maybe not. We are going to try to focus on economy. Uh, City of Z. It's lacking the second level market. Do we have the caravan city? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just check the building stuff. And it is done. Caravan side is done. Okay, so the theater could be useful, but yes, maybe it could be useful because the city is still at 55 if we were to have some kind of protection against uh, would increase happiness, which would just help us quite a bit. Or we could go for the prison, which is <laughs> a different way to deal with that. Uh, add for to convict recruitment pool. Now we're going to probably go for the theater here. Maybe it's not a uh, wise choice, but I think it might work. Let's take a look at Zitong then. Zitong is... Um, we could do that. Costing quite a bit. But it's going to be done quickly. In 5 turns we'll have even more money which is going to come in. So let's do that. I cannot really go much further. I've been burning most of the money and I'm going to be at war in 2 turns, so not that good. Okay, let's just call it a turn. Okay, so all my troops are gathering slowly. We've got a bit of a fight over there between uh, my troops and the bandits. We should win that one because we've got troops which are actually quite good. And they've got only uh, regular spearmen. So we've got... Troops which are well equipped against their... Uh, ill equipped uh, troops. Are we fleeing? I hope not. <laughs> it would be stupid. No, they are going to fight again. They are just regrouping and stuff. Okay, they, they are bailing now. Just uh, one more of their unities. Come on guys, just flank them and just... I think I failed a bit because I should have just told my units to go for different strategies. Like maybe two uh, to fight and just go uh, to the front and two other one to just flank them, it would have been much more efficient. Okay, they are building. How much troops do we have left? Not so much, but I would prefer them not to um, break my economy by just um, blocking roads and stuff. I need to check on that. Because they are obviously going to do it. Because this is what they do. Okay, let's take a look at the... Yes, it is... Uh, is it blocked? Blocked trade route. So we are going to win a bit less money. We want to pursue them. It's a bit of a pain for me to go that way. Because I'm, I'm willing to go to the capital. Or I could just send one unit to pursue them. But it seems not to be... Uh, I don't know. Or maybe I could just uh, do another one. Uh, another unit to deal with them. I could actually make a bunch of cavalry units in, in Wuyang here and send them to take care of them. What are we going to do? Yes, two of these. Alright. 
And then I will send them uh, after the bandits and will just send the army on his way. Alright, it's going to take two turns to, to reach them, but it's going to be uh, good enough. It's going to take three turns to move the army back to Seika. And maybe when we are going to have the army ready, we'll just send them on their way to, to take uh, Xi'an here. Okay, do I want to go for these walls to protect the capital well? We've got also a silk quiver here, which we could go for. It would just help us a bit more for uh, trading and stuff. I'm surprised that I do not have it already. Eh, uh, I don't know. I feel like a good idea, but... Plus it's less expensive than, than the walls. Or I could just do the palace here. Ah, not going to give us enough. So walls and the country are going to protect the city a bit better. And I will be able to put the turrets in. Kind of. Now maybe it's not an emergency. They've got relatively bad troops, so I could just go for the um, Silk Weaver first and we'll see later on. The city is getting bigger and bigger, it seems. Let's take a look at the walls. Still, we've got very bad walls. Uh, you know what, maybe it's a mistake to go with this, I'm going to go for the walls, because it is our capital after all, and it is important to keep it uh, properly defended. Because I've got only one town which has uh, the right kind of wall. It is Z, I think, and Z has quite decent walls, but it is not our capital, I need to defend our capital better. Plus, uh, Seika is our bigger town, so if I was to lose it, it would just make a... A huge uh, hit to our economy, which would be very, very bad. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do. Um, I should protect Cha. Uh, how much does it cost to make a regular wall? Uh, not so much. I should probably do it next turn. Because I don't want the Queen to just do a, a quick attack on this turn and just size uh, both of the mines and the city and stuff. It would be a bad move for us. I need to be able to protect it a bit. Uh, are we advancing on the down on the on the on the road here? I'm not sure. And there is no troop to protect Lanzong, which is also a bad idea. Yet we've got no war on the south, so maybe it's fine. Um, let's see. So I was uh, wondering if I was uh, advancing on the on the road. Okay, it's going to advance, but it needs to. Um, to take some time, six turn, and we'll be uh, seeing the town just taking uh, shape. Let's take a look. I did not check this one so much. I want to see a uh, bit of settlement, total population. Oh, it is among, amongst all of these clan. Oh, cool. Uh, so let's see. We are. So the zoo seems to be a bit stronger than we are. So we'll need to be careful. They've got more culture victory points. Uh, they are leading in every aspect. So maybe I should just uh, try to make an alliance with the main new. Because we are just both weaker and we would be, we would be much stronger. Uh, military, I'm just uh, much higher than everybody else. Uh, battle forts, I did not battle so much compared to the zoo. Uh, okay, let's see. I want soldier killed. Production development. Okay, so we'll need to be careful because the zoo are quite quite strong. Okay. Let's battle report for Zitong. We've been killing quite a bit of bandits and not losing so much units, so perfectly fine for by me. Okay, let's see. Okay, my units are reaching slowly Seika. Um I think I, I should just go to the... Um, what are they doing? I don't know. So the menu, I should just try to go and take an lane. Wait, wait a sec. Fail to attack. Oh, come on. I didn't attack, but I, I'm at war with them, so... Come on. Okay, I'm going to be in trouble with the zoo. Uh, with the queen. 
My hair is getting better again. No, good. Got a wharf in Seika, which should just increase a lot our ability to trade. I should have checked before. I, I completely forgot about the, um, the wharf. So income. Trading trade is getting high, I think. Okay, so I'm going to be even worse with the queen. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I should just go and and go for a truce with uh, with the zoo if I'm not obliged to fight them anymore. No, I think they they they've been going on on war with them um, with uh, with us. So I cannot really go for peace unless I attack them a bit more. Let's take a look at the diplomacy thing. Uh, the menu. I should just be much better with them. The Queen, uh, hostile, friendly with the bar, strange. I've been fighting them quite a bit and they are friendly toward me uh, and if you compare to the Queen, which I'm kind of hostile with them, it's not, I don't know. Hey buddies, uh, so uh, let's see what we can do here. Could, I could give them a bit of money, I could just uh, go for a defensive alliance. Uh, nope. Wait a see. Uh, let's take a look. Would they uh, like to become my vessel? Well, not really. And if I pay them a bit. Nope, it's not going to be sufficient. Nah. Don't have enough money anyway. Let's just not do this. I will try to make them attack the zoo at some point. So I can ally with them. But I really need to take care of the queen at some point. But first thing first, I'm going to attack the queen. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got here. The city seems to be much better. The order is back to normal. I'm suppressing a bit with my military, but I've been gaining authority, so much better. Uh, I've got slaver service, which is still high. The earthquake is going to be done in this turn, so I might want to begin to assemble my army and advance to our zoo. Uh, yes, the zoo. So let's go with the regular army. Alright. Do I want to take maybe a bunch of bombers? I might. It will be necessary for me to take the city. And I'm going to keep the cavalry here. I'm going to get a bunch of reinforcements though. No, so let's just take them all. Do I want to go with uh, our leader? Not just a good idea. No, it's a, it's a bad idea. Just stick to the capital here. And where do I want to advance? I'm going to just uh, gather here, I think. Yes. We're going to also ask the Bowmans to uh, come here. And we're going to ask this military unit to come here. So we'll get enough troops. I'm going to ask these guys to come over there. So they should be able to reach us in a few turns and maybe I should just begin to advance and I will see them just reinforce me a bit later. I wonder. I also wonder which of my, of my time is the best one to recruit people. I'm going to check quickly. Uh, I don't really have any good town to recruit units except for Z which has um, decent units here. Okay, I will need to make some kind of military outpost at some point to allow me to... Maybe I could... I don't know. Z do not feel like a good town to do that. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let's take a look. Uh, I don't really want to do that on the... On the west, it's a uh, perfectly good city to make money. Uh, it could be Zuo or it could be Quan here. I don't know. I think Quan it would be better because I would be in the middle of everything. I could just produce troops to send them everywhere. It would be perfect. Or I could advance a bit on Tech Rio. I don't know. Yet I, I need to take care of the Queen and the Bar. If I want to be safe. Oh. Oh, yes, I forgot about this one. <laughs> Anyway, let's see uh, what I can do next turn. Okay, I've got still plenty of units which are going to fight around here. What's going on? We've got to fight. Oh yes, that fight. 
I've got a bunch of units which are going to fight the the bandits here. If we were to just finish them, it would be better. And I've got also a battle between the zoo and the queen. I think the zoo are going to lose. Yep. Let's go back to my own battle, which is going to be quite quick. Okay, the last. I'm going to keep pursuing them. I'm not going to let them just burn my fields. And oh, it's going to run badly here. Okay, these units are going to bail. 30, uh, 38, and uh, uh, 54. Okay. Bandits, more bandits? Yes, more bandits. Where are they? Next to Z. Okay, so I'm going to. No. Um, too many bandits. Not cool. Do I care about this? I think I might. I'm going to send my troops just to take care of them. Is it possible? Are they going to be willing to cross the river? I'm not sure they want to. I hope they are going to do it. Uh, okay, my army is assembled. Okay, how much troops do we have in, in this city here? Uh, three units of spearmen, five units of women. Not perfect. Uh, I don't really see so much with, uh, with the rain. It should just also uh, be troublesome for my uh, harvest, so I need to be careful. Uh, we've got new farms. We've been clearing uh, an area, so I should be able to uh, do a bit more road from the city of Chao. Yep, we can do that. We're going to push a bit further and we'll just uh, reach the other road so we'll get, we can actually cross. So good. We're advancing slowly on the mine staff. Okay. And I should just begin to advance with the army. I need to find the right way to reach this city. So it's going to be on the left. Okay. So I'm going to begin to advance uh, toward uh, the city of Zio. We're going to... Maybe we could just reach Zio quickly and then we'll see. The thing is that I would prefer, probably just uh, like to have a road to reach the city of so maybe I could just ask the city of Zoo to begin to make another road so we can reach uh, I don't see so much it's difficult to uh, spot which way we need to go to if we want to make a road maybe I could just cut a bunch of these to make an access I could just cut this one uh, and this one and you could make the road from here and go through these areas and just go all along the mountains. We'll try, at least. And maybe I could actually uh, do something about Zio, because Zio has already a wall. And do I want to make money or do I want to make uh, military units? I think I should just go for military units because I'm lacking uh, military units. Good ones. Are we uh, crowded or not here? Five, it's not too much of an emergency, but still we'll need to take care of it. Um, let's see. So, armor, armor, uh, foundry, weaponsmiths. Um, I'll be able to do uh, Peasant Albert, Army Albert, Cavalry, Guard Albert. It's interesting. Um, Light Horse Archer here. Ah, it could be quite handy. Okay, we're going to do Bowman's here because I will be able to dispatch some in Seika. And this is something which I really want to do. Um, I'm lacking space already. Okay, so we'll need to go for this one as well. Okay, we're going to try to make Zoo a better city. We can take some turns though. So we can dispatch units to protect all the north. Seems good to me. Got so many units of cavalry here. I could just dispatch two to take care of these. Are they going to be willing to go? I'm not sure they did not comply. <laughs> I think. Okay, when they don't know where and how to go to a place, they are not doing it. What's going on here? Okay, they are going to. You know what, we are going to do that this way, and I'm going to send these units to take care of these. So 
so each unit is going to know where to go. Okay, fine. Let's go with uh, that done. Okay, there is a little bit of a battle in Zero, and it seems the Queen are just bailing. Hope for them they are not going to uh, to stay because I've got all my units which are going to arrive in no time. Okay, I've got a new wharf in Chengdu. Uh, let's just take a look. Oh wait, sec, we've got uh, trouble with money now. Let's take a look. So, how much are we getting with? Um, are getting more with trade, so I might. Uh, I believe it's, it is. Um, what decreased? The, uh, okay, the, the rain is just droning our uh, harvest, so it is why we are taking a hit here. It's, it should not last too long, so we should be fine. Yeah, maybe I could just decrease uh, the amount of money we are going to bleed by just uh, removing a few units. I wonder. Let's just take a look. Uh, how much time did it last? Let's see, local factors, nope. And British uh, weather is just uh, giving us some trouble. Maybe it's going to pass though. It might be done by next turn, so. Yes, flooded land, you see? It is why we are in trouble. We've got plenty of farms which are not uh, possible to use anymore. Yeah, can see these. Are we not? I cannot get the. Uh, Thing to show up any anymore. Look at that. It's it's cool. <laughs> it's it's not really cool for my city, but it's still cool. The city of Zoo is completely fluted. Yeah. So much rain. Okay. Anyway, let's just not get <laughs> crazy about this. Let's just go back to what we need to do. Uh, we've got a new Tata NZ, which is going to. Uh, remove a bit of unrest. Uh, we've got a road in Sha, another road in Zio. We're not yet done with these forests, so we'll need to cross a bit later. Uh, let's see. Um, so now, do we have a road which is going to, to go from Sha? Yeah, so that's a bit of a snake. And it's going to advance a bit more. They are walking on it right now. We can see them, as a matter of fact. No, these are just farmers. Are they not? I'm not sure. No, they are not farmers. These are just guys which are making the, the road. Okay, nice. So, they are going to be soon able to cross this area. I think I've got a bunch of people which are working on that. Also, yes, we've got the road which is going to arrive here at some point. So, we'll be able to join both. And hopefully, it will improve a bit uh, our trading ability. I don't know if the trading route are going to follow these roads, but still, it would be nice. And let's take a look at the wharf I was uh, speaking of. There is one in Chengdu now, and I just need to find where it is. So this one is the wharf of maybe Pingdu. And thanks to this wharf, how much money are we... Oh, wait. <laughs> Too many numbers. Uh, we are making quite a bit of money with this, I think. I just try to find the wharf of Seika, if it is done already. Should be around here. Now nah, we'll see later on. Let's just, just keep going. So my army is over there. It is moving towards you. We are going to move it towards these guys. So we take care of them quickly. Uh, I need to change a few things. I don't really want the siege weapon to go uh, to the front lines. I want them to remain uh, to the back. At flanks, uh, Arras is more likely what I want to do with these. Bowmans are going to also harass my enemies. Uh, spearmen are going to go straight towards them. And that should be sufficient. If I had some cavalry, I could just add them to flank my enemy. I could have kind of cavalry though, because I've got plenty which are available. I think I might want to do that. Let's just uh, add them to uh, follow my troops and just uh, uh, catch them. We'll add the spearmen to go straight to our enemy. Our uh, cavalry to just flank them and the, and the bowmen to harass them. It seems to be a valid tactic here. I think we should have unlocked the heavy cavalry and the kung fu before we arrive in the city. 
need to take a bit of time to reach that point. And the, oh, the zoo just bailed. The queen are bolstering their strength. They seem to be preparing to uh, invade north. Okay, do we have more water? Because I think we've got enough. Okay, less water, so we are going to be better. The money is back to normal. There is a bit of a uh, sickness in uh, Zoo and Seika, which is going to not improve our... Okay, our army is a bit uh, not good. <laughs> We've got a new Bowaya in Zoo, so we should be able to recruit troops now. Yes, we can. Uh, we cannot really recruit uh, what I want, but we can begin to recruit things, and I might want to uh, take a look at, say, uh, let's say... What can I do? I cannot do much. I might want to wait for the city to be done and we'll just uh, try to, to do better. We'll need to... Do we have a wall here? I don't really see it from here. Yes, we do have a, a wall, so a bunch of bombs are going to be quite handy here if I want to keep the city in our hand. Okay, let's just keep going. We're going to maybe try to cross the forest. And we'll ask these two units to uh, flank our enemy, outflank, ambush. Mm, let's see. Now we're going to go and uh, outflank them. Yep, it seems to be good. Just go there. So we're going to be able to go a bit further. And we'll be able to join the army next turn. Meanwhile, these guys are going to lag a bit behind because they are just a bit slower, but we need to keep them uh, following. So we've got a bit of money. Uh, do I want to check on other towns which are north because we might have things to do around? Mians, we do, we do have a wall on this one, I think. Uh, but do we need anything else to make it um, more likely to survive? What's going to happen at some point? Because this town which is just in the middle of all the other town of the Queen. And we don't really want to be uh, in trouble with these. Let's take a look. So I could do uh, Guard Albert. Okay, it's one building building uh, needed to make Trent, uh, uh, Trent Bowman. But maybe uh, what we need is, yes, we need uh, to make a palace in, in the town to be able to make this barracks so we can make better uh, Bowman's. Meanwhile, mm, let's see what I could get. Produce bronze for trade. Interesting. Uh, and it's going to give us maybe better armor. Nah. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go for something a bit more. We're going to go for the, um, the weaponsmith. And then when we can, we, we'll go for uh, the, um, the barracks. So we can make units which are going to be able to hold the town. Okay, let's go for this. And I will need to uh, specialize my town. Because I don't really have as much slot as I would like. So we've got al also the crossbow maker, which is uh, possible here, but we probably need to go for the palace first. And we'll be able to do the barracks then. Oh, not too bad. I think we might want to go for this yet. Maybe it's better to keep my slot because the city of Jiameng was some kind of a, of a trade up, which was not too bad. So we would be better just doing ceramic fa factory. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. It's going to help me a bit. I'm, I'm just running a bit low on money right now. How oh, far away from the resolution of our research? Uh, we're a few turns away. Okay, good. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, there is quite a bunch of battles. I think our troops are going to be uh, involved. So we've got a battle which is happening in the forest with our cavalry and the bandits. So the bandits should be in trouble. Even though cavalry is not perfect in the forest. Uh, so they still have... 28... Uh, I think these were spearmen's. We've got another battle which is happening uh, with the zoo in the forest as well. So we've got quite a bit of spearmen against uh, the not really well trained spearmen. Alright. I think I might have the palace in my city of Seike. I should just go and try to do the, the barracks if I can. 
so I can train plenty of good units as well. Because having more than one town uh, as a unit producer would be uh, better. It would allow me to just produce more units at once if I need them. Okay, there is another battle happening here. So these guys are not going to uh, plunder my fields. We should win that one as well. Okay, there are no more. And let's just take a look at the battle which is happening north between my, uh, let's say, soon not to be vassals and, and the zoo. Okay, it seems not to be uh, going well for the zoo because they've got issues, you know. We are uh, a bit far from their realm, so they need to uh, send units. Oh, wait a sec. What are these? Uh, Bowmans and spearmen. Okay, not too... Oh, I think these are the troops from the city. The city is now not really protected. If I was able to go around in the other direction, it would be so much better. But it's too far, I'm going to go that way. I might want to let them pass, though, so they can just uh, go and fight my, uh, let's say, ally. And I could take the city meanwhile. This, it might be interesting. Can I get climbing gear so I can get my troops through this area? I don't really know. Wait a sec, what is this? So why D? What are these guys doing here? Uh, what were they about? I need to check something. Not here, here. So the YD... Uh, I don't know who these guys are. Are we at war with them? They're enemy? I don't know what they're doing here. Maybe I should check on the Queen. So the Queen are at war with the bandits, with the Red Eyebrow Rebels, with the Zoo and with the Ba. But who are these YD and what are they doing here? Do I need to obliterate them right away or <laughs> do I need to chat a bit? Okay, this guy's Amur is the faction leader of the YD. He's coming here, I don't know why. But I might want to. Can I just go through? Oh, I can go through. I think I, I might be able to just go through this mountain like this. It's worth trying, I believe. If I just reach that point, I will be able to go further. We'll see. Uh, anyway, let's just take a look. I was doing uh, stuff. We've got a bunch of disease in uh, Chengdu and Jiameng, which is not good for us. We've got a settlement upgrade in Zhou, so now we should be able to do other things here. Okay, let's see. Um, we do have the wool already. Now let's take a look. We've got a bunch of upgrade for uh, trading. We've got an upgrade for uh, the bows. And what we need to go for is probably that, but I'm lacking something here. A palace. Okay. Uh, palace is costing 1000. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, can I just buy it and make it in Seika first? Yes, I can do that. So I'm going to do it in Seika first and we'll see where we go then. Because in Seika we should be able to do uh, maybe uh, good bombings and also... Uh, let's see... Metal armor upgrade for most troops. So we've got already uh, good armors here. We're well, going to do that this way and we'll see. Maybe I should just go and do stable so we can do... Uh, maybe uh, light or archer or something like that. Yeah, let's go for this as well. It might be useful to cover a lot of ground quickly. It might be a bad idea because it's going to increase even more the burden on my on my economy, but still, it should be fine. And let's see. I've been unlocking something. Yes, it was uh, a bit more maybe uh, authority. It was uh, the last one here, over there, literature. So I increased my culture by one, okay. And now I can do literary criticism, which is going to increase my culture even further. But maybe there is more important to do here. I could do the um, Imperial Ritz here, which would just allow me to gain... Oh, wait a sec, uh, this one is good. 
Maybe if I just do this one, I will be able to do this one, but it's going to take me so many turns. Might want to begin with this one and get a bit more authority. As I'm going to get a new town soon and I don't really have so much authority, I'm not sure. Just take a look. Um, I've got 13 and I've got uh, 12 settlements. So it's still fine, but I need to be careful because if my leader was to lose authority, I would be in trouble. How much do we have here? I think he was at zero last time, so it's not much. No, wait, it's okay. I just failed again. Yes, he's at zero, which is not really good. Uh, can I maybe improve it? So I would probably need to send him on a major battle here. It is a faction here, I could actually just do that. Uh, I should do that, but he's going to... Okay, he's going to go. Okay, buddy, just meet my army. Or maybe meet this army. No, I don't know. Well, we'll just let him go through. And I should check. I've got a bit of margin, so even though my leader is not going to be there, it should be fine-ish. Yep. And else I've got uh, Zheng Chun, which is there. Uh, nah, I don't think he will be uh, doing that. And where is my leader? Should be around somewhere. Is he in Zhou? Yes, he is. Um, wait a second. Uh, do I want to go with my actual leader or do I want to go with my heir? I think we are fine for now. When my, when my faction leader is going to die, I would prefer to have a heir which is going to be better than the um, character we've got right now. So I should probably just go with the heir. But it would be also stupid to lose the hair. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Alright, let's see. Are we going to be able to cross these mountains? It would be nice. Okay, so what are the white dig going to do? I'm quite uh, interested in that. Giant crossbows. Okay, so we don't really need the giant crossbow, but it's going to enable us to advance a bit further. Uh, where are we uh, going? I think we needed to advance to get these, because these are going to be so useful. Uh, increasing my trading ability is just what I'm looking for. So I should maybe try to uh, follow the dots. <laughs> uh, let's see. I should just go with. What do I need to unlock to get this? Uh, I could go with these, but I'm not really sure. Okay, we're going to go for this one. I don't really know what to aim for. We're going to go uh, with horse armor in two turns. Fairly good. These guys are just... I don't know. Okay, can we expect to cross a bit further? I think we might not. I'm maybe going through this thing for nothing. <laughs> yeah, there are a bunch of farms here, so I might be able to do so. Look at that, they are making roads. No, they are maybe farming. I feel like they are farming, so I should be able to cross. Yeah, if I can go there, I can probably just go and cross these areas. I'm going to be confident, <laughs> and I will just go there. Okay, we've got a new weapon smith in, in Yanzu. Uh, better walls in Seika. Cool. Going to be a lot harder to take this city now. And did we decrease? No, there is still a pretty high unrest here. And there is less suppression because I do not have my leader in there anymore. Okay. Uh, what could I do to make things easier? Stop building, maybe, yes, but uh, I think I'm still in need of doing that. Maybe I could just remove the stable for now and do them a bit later. I've got these, which are going to be done in two turns. It should make things a bit easier. This one would be cool as well. It's not too expensive either. And we've got the eye earth wall, which would be perfect as well. 
Oh, I could go for this as well. Uh, it's going to cost me a bit, but it's going to decrease. Uh, it's going to prevent me from getting a lot of trouble. We'll just finish the barrack and we'll see. Not going to ask for too much uh, too quickly, or they will just uh, break on me. How oh, far are we on the gold mines? I did not check for a while. Still a bunch of turns. But we are going to be soon done with the copper pit, which might give us a bit of money. Okay, so... Basically, I just need to wait for to see if these guys are going to be able to cross, but it's going to take two turns to cross these. Not cool. And my lid is going to go that way as well. And where are... Okay, these guys need to go against these bandits, and these guys need to go against these. So we don't have any more bandits on our lands. Uh, meanwhile, do I have uh, any more troops to move? The regular army should join very, very soon. Yes, good. Let's just keep going. Hopefully the queen are going to take all the eat. Uh, from the army of the, the queen, uh, from, from the zoo. And I hope the white deer are going to attack the queen as well. It would just occupy them uh, for a bit while I'm just trying to take the city. Which is not protected, which is going to be quite good for us. Hopefully they don't have enough money or uh, troops to replenish uh, their defense. Okay, I think there is battle here. Yeah, there is a battle. Let's take a look and see what's happening here. Not so much. It seems to be watching each other. Or maybe there is a bunch of arrows which are being shot. I think maybe there is no bowmen uh, on either side, so they are not going to be able to fight so much. Okay, let's see. Uh, Got a fire in Ling Shu. I got a new road in Sha. I got two battle reports, which are just really not interesting here. Um, can we go f further? Okay, we need to reach that point first. If it is not possible, we'll have just all the army gathered together. That's all. I would prefer to be able to pass through this area, though. And I think I was about to create a new road also in this uh, location here. Let's just check something. Can I actually uh, create a road which is going to go through the mountain? Nope, nope, nope. Um, let's go that way then. And we'll cross through this arrow and it is going to be yeah, done in one turn. Fairly good. I think we're going to be able to build the road before I reach. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's see. And a shrine. We can build a shrine here. Uh, nope, not yet. I'm lacking the, the liquidity to do so. Cause it's going to cost me every turn to maintain the temple. And for now I need to maintain the army first. Seika, is it getting worse? Eh, slightly. But... Um, no, I want to see the finance. Yes, I want... Wait, why is it so... Oh, I'm, I'm just checking at the city, not the wall empire. It is the way it's so low. Uh, so, I wanted to check something else, I wanted to check uh, if we were to be done with the uh, barracks, yeah, soon, next turn. Good, so we are going to be able to get good bombings, which is going to be quite uh, good for us. Okay, so do I need to do anything else on this turn? I don't think so. I've got, yes, horse armor next turn. Okay, so next turn is going to be the... Turn of the truth, we'll see if we can cross the mountain or not. I hope so, but I cannot really say. It seems not to be the case though. Okay, let's just take a look at the battle if there is one. No, no, there is no battle. I don't know why they are not attacking. Wait a sec, don't go too far. Okay, so now we can make these uh, horse armor. I could go and try to do something else now. Uh, let's see. We could uh, increase the value of iron and steel. Uh, and it's going to increase the chance of melee attack to eat by 10%, which is not too bad. Or I could go with a more armor rating to uh, get my people still alive. Um, 
we're going to go for steel. We'll be able to access these two sensors, which is going to be quite good. As I'm going to get mine and stuff uh, being built. Let's take a look. Can I do now better uh, cavalry? Yeah, it is just regular noble cavalry, okay. But when I'm going to be able to build the stable or stuff, it's going to be a bit easier to... Okay, nice. Look at that. I've got new bowmen. I've got new uh, Chukonu here. And I've got also uh, units with spear and crossbows, which are quite versatile, I think. Maybe not as good as the other one, but still. Okay, it is really, really good. I would definitely have to just put uh, bowmen in every of my city. Plus, these might be costing a bit, uh, a bit more. Yet, they are much more efficient, I believe. Crossbows, yeah, cool. Okay, let's go back. Uh, I'm not going to push further with the construction. I need to wait for the city to cool down, kind of. And let's see, can I go through? Ah, I cannot. I cannot. Ah, stupid. Anyway, let's just go through. Uh, go around then. We're going to go over there, and we'll meet with the army when they when they stop on this turn. Yeah, seems to be the better thing to do. Uh, I've been clearing the area in zero, so I need to continue the road. Let's keep going. Uh, we're going to go and follow the mountain. No, oh, okay, we'll just go that way then. And when we're going to reach that point, we'll just see what we'll do. Okay, we've got enough food, but not so much. I should just try to get maybe a few more farms here. Unrest is going to rise a bit. Yeah, no, I need to stop any kind of walk here. Am I doing anything? Mm, seems not to be the case. No, it's not. It's not. Wait a sec, can I... Uh, I could do a port. I'm going to multiply my trade by... No, uh, but I cannot do it now. Too much unrest. Maybe I could do it in Chengdu. Produce eight item for trade. Eight turns. Ah, uh, yes. It's definitely worth it. At least I think so. Plus, uh, Chengdu is quite uh, fine for now. Yes, there is a bit of time before I'm in trouble again. Okay, let's just call it a turn. We need to build a, a stable in Seika so I can uh, make my. My bowman on ours. Okay, it seems that they just uh, stick around like this and they're not fighting so much. They're just watching at each other. Maybe they are plundering their field though. Okay, what's going on? It seems my uh, air is going, is getting better. We've got disease in country which are not our. Uh, roads and uh, we've got a granary in Sha, a ceramic factory in Jiameng. Okay, for now everything is fine. Let's just. Why are the army not banding together? Okay, well, we are just going to uh, not move next turn, we'll wait for them together to band together. Seems fine by me, I think. So then we can just advance as one. It will be a lot uh, easier, and it will be a little bit more dangerous for, m for our enemies. Meanwhile, let's just take a look. I should have uh, finished the research now. Nah. Uh, five more turns for the junk uh, sales. Let's take a look at Cha. Cha is advancing slowly but surely. I will need to protect it a bit better. Maybe I should just do that right away. I've got a little bit of money. I could just make the wall. And I should just send a bunch of uh, trained bowmen to protect the city so they don't really get through these walls ever. But I will wait a bit because I'm not making so much money now. I'm just uh, burning too much uh, with my army. And I do not intend to wait. So I've got plenty of troops which are not doing anything. 
I think I'm going to reduce these two troops to uh, nothing. Okay, and these are going to keep pushing these guys. Plus, maybe I will just try to explore this area with these uh, this this horsemen, as they are just really close by. I would definitely like to know if it is easy to go through or not. Okay, let's go. Okay, there is more fighting. Nope, not really fighting. <laughs> it's barely skirmish. Okay, so these guys are going to uh, flee a bit further. My guys are going to follow. We've got a... Uh, is there any kind of battle happening here? Yeah, there is a small battle happening next to the walls here. We've got uh, spearmen which are just getting uh, damaged by the bowmen's. <laughs> so, is there only one bowman? No, there is a bunch. But it is not uh, a really big battle. Oh, seems they are going to fight a bit on this side. Not so much. <laughs> I think there is going to be quite a lot of other battle of the issue before they actually fight each other. And these guys are just... I don't know what they are doing here. Maybe they wait for me to just go through. I don't know. Anyway, we'll probably see that next time, because we're not going to be able to uh, lead the campaign toward this city in this episode, but we are almost ready to go for it. We just need to go around this mountain and we'll be fine. I will not go uh, much further anyway, we'll just stick to that and we'll begin to trade with this city and stuff, and if I can get better with the zoo, it would be better. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the episode, if you do please leave a like, a comment or subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, please consider following my referral link to buy your games on the Humble Store. They've got pretty nice price and interesting bundles as well. So with that said, until next time folks, have fun!